The Knights Tournament continues with the Legendary Knights versus Ignites. This is going to be a slaughter. For what side, though? Honestly, oh, yours. I'm going to walk all I, over you. Honestly, honestly, I was actually legitimately thinking about it just before this. Mm -hmm. You do have a chance to actually do well, because if you were somehow able to bring out the Knight, the Legendary Knight Fusion that's in the deck... No, like, there's good cards. It's just not easiest to work with. I know, I know. I just remember, because that Legendary Knight, the Golden Knight, he's so good, if I recall. Mm -hmm. uh, no, so if you do great. somehow bring him out, I will be in trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, we'll do this. Wasn't sure what that card's in here for, but I know what Trick Con does, so... Ta-da! And then we got this. Uh, oh, darn it, that's not any good right now. So what's the play here? That isn't ready yet. That's not ready yet. And uh, that... Cool. No, that won't do either. Yeah, we're gonna have to sit on that. Uh -oh. All right. Let's uh, let's first off play Unexpected Die, which, funny enough, guess what? All of the Agnister monsters are vanilla pendulums, meaning while they're on the field, they're they're vanilla. All right. Unexpected Die really works well for them. Mm -hmm. I kind of like how this is going out because uh, spoilers, Agnister's gonna win this duel, guys. Um, but now you actually get a chance to like work with it and learn it a little bit before it has to face other things. True. Neither of us really know. The, and uh, by the way, we are, rather. Yeah. we are keeping to the rule that we can fix up decks between rounds. We're not going super hardcore competitive on it, mainly because a lot of it's these decks are new to us. <laughs> that was a never decided upon, but now we know. Cool. But yeah, but uh, because mainly on the fact, a lot of these decks are new to us, so we actually don't know how to run them. So yeah. if we make a bad deck, we would like to fix them. Mm -hmm. I think one of the decks I was working with, I have like 41 or 42 cards. In it right now, just so I can see. Oh, if I don't like a card, I take it out. The deck's good now. Yay. Yeah, ignite. And, yeah. Then I'm going to play Left Arm Offering. By banishing the two cards in my hand, I can add any uh, spell card I want to the hand. Okay. I think I want to add... Ooh. I wonder if this will mess with you at all. So the version I downloaded of Ignites... There's not many versions of Ignite that don't involve TG. Something I was telling Xylo just before mm -hmm. this duel. And I don't want to learn... I don't want to go through entire TG. Since Xylo has more experience with TG, I don't. That's true. Who knows, maybe if Ignites do move on and people want to see a uh, TG Ignite mix, maybe I'll run it next time. Let us know. Yeah. Did you just get rid of two cards to get an upstart goblin search? Mainly because I, need I needed to recycle the hand a little bit. Alright. Anyway, then I normal summon... Guess it worked out for you at least. Yeah. Now let's see. Yeah, let's go for the uh, basic Isolde play by using these two. Sure. Isolde allows me to search out another card to the hand. That's pretty good. Let's get the Immortal Phoenix to the hand. Oh gosh. <laughs> then let's Pendulum Summon. Yeah, real good combo there. Simple combo, just uh, get, get two zones, put the uh, two cards used to fill those two zones. I always forget that's what the animation for the pendulum yeah, is. Yeah, we don't play pendulums a lot, so it's nice. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, I did not mention this is a lockdown, right? The lockdown style deck? Oh, no. <laughs> Apollosa? It's not even a knight. <laughs> Darn it. Well, a lot of knights actually do follow goddesses, though. And yeah, yeah, their yeah. will. Can't believe I'm getting apollosa right now. Summon Trick Clown. I'll take a, I'll take a burn of apollosa for that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Um, okay. Yeah. Solar Recharge. Get two more cards. Alright, ooh, we got this guy now. But we need the Legend of Heart still. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna normal summon you. And we're gonna battle. Great. Luckily, Trick Clown was able to bait that out. And I was lucky enough to draw something with 1700. 
Um, now, it has an effect, but once per turn, when a spell or effect is activated, banish light sworn in my hand or graveyard. Is there one in graveyard? Yes, we have graveyard for it, but that's about it. Except for that, we're kind of just sitting on a... I have Tamias and Fang of Critias, but no ways of using it. Um, oh, wait, so we do just, have this. So. I love how that's a lot of ways we get to get around this stuff. It's a, just summon something slightly stronger that doesn't acquire effects, just to destroy stuff. Look, you know what I mean? If I could fight off an Apollosa that easy, I'm down. Ah, come on. Uh, okay, so now this can do something. Um, target on the field and destroy, so that's not going to do any good here. Yep, okay. Yeah. Because when a spell or trap is activated, I can... Oh, actually... There's something I could have and should have done there. But we'll keep that in mind if there's another play about to happen. Don't know if there is, though. I have a chance! Okay. Let me see. Well, I can just... Alright. I'm gonna pendulum summon once more. Yeah. Bring back this card. Darn it. But I'm also gonna activate Ignite Crusader. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Get rid of that, and let's see what that does. Um, if you have an Ignite card in your other pendulum zone. <laughs> you don't have a pendulum in your other zone. <laughs> All right, then I guess that changes up what I'm gonna do next. Then yeah, still, still see two fours on the field, so there's plenty to be afraid of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My card had one effect, and it was perfect for that situation. I'm happy. Yeah. I played it right. I guess, uh, I guess a basic level two option, level uh, level four X Y Z then would work out. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Let's go into the uh, time redoer. <laughs> time thief, nice. Let's take a look at the top card of your deck. Oop. That was the wrong effect, wasn't it? Um. Yeah, but he'll be he'll come back, right? So. Yeah. There have been support for Time Thief that also came out that we have not touched, mainly on the yeah. fact like neither one of us know it particularly too well. It's fair. Hmm. This is my. All right, now I can look at the top card of your deck, I believe. All right. Take it. Oh, I guess it oh. didn't. I hit okay. activate. Hmm. Let's see. Gosh, it's such a bad choice, but I better do it. Oh, okay. I did take it. It just didn't have the animation for actually swiping it. I took your foolish burial goods. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I can be... Oh, uh, no. I wish I had drawn that. That would have actually let me summon a legendary knight. Okay. That's so good, but I can't do anything with it yet. Um, I think we stay attack mode here. Um, nah, we don't have to stay attack mode, we'll be fine. I will end my turn right there. Alright. There we go. Now I need, uh... Okay, at least, at least with the majority of the cards being, uh, majority of the monsters being ignites, getting one isn't the hardest. True. Like right there. Yep. At least I'm making you burn it as well. Yeah. Though. I'm getting rid of my graveyard stuff, so. Nice. Draws oh, that's ironic. Good. That's ironic. <laughs> you draw the same thing. Fool's burial goods, yeah. Oh, funny. Yeah, idea is if I use Foolish Burial Goods, I could send the last um, legendary card I need to the graveyard and I'd be able to play. Uh, let's do this. Banish two warriors from my graveyard. To add that to the hand. Alright. Then, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the attack and just get rid of your monster. Yeah, he's been, <laughs> it's been causing enough problems. I've also spent all my Light Sworn, so I'm happy enough to lose it by now. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't drawn a singular other monster to set down, honestly. Yeah, it's only been the monsters I've used. Alright, what did I... T I took another 20 spell. I took another light one card, a charge of the Light Brigade. Ah, okay. Let's see, so that's good. That's good. Um, ooh, I can use this now. 
Um, okay. Sure. I'm not sure what this summons, but I know I can do it, so we are. Oh, wait, no, I do know what this summons. What am I saying? It's in the name. Fang of Critias. Yeah. What's he waiting on for you? Let's bring out, obviously, the Mirror Force Dragon! And this is where I start to sweat a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> an extra card. Let's see. Okay, so we got this, this, and... I, I have the left arm offering, which is another card I just hate. Um, maybe I should have gotten rid of it. However, actually, yeah, that's no. Yeah, that card's an issue. Yeah, it's banished. Oh, it's so bad. I this Mirror Forge things. Dragon is, has a, is one of the really good dragon effects. Yes, absolutely. So we'll go for it. We'll go for an attack. Get rid of the Redoer. And, yeah. Sounds good. We'll just sit there until we get the, uh... The only the thing about here. Ignites, I feel like they have always been missing, honestly. They have never had a extra deck, like, monster to go into. Like, they are a bunch of, just a bunch of, like, pendulum stuff. Hmm. They don't have any, like, XYZ, Link, or anything. Yeah, I guess I don't know enough about them, so... I get it. Alright, do that. Equip the Phoenix Blade. Okay, a little Infra Noble Knight leaking in. Good, good. Oh no. It's mainly because of this. Oh no. Dirty, <laughs> this boy. <laughs> uh, let me see. You saw me add this to my hand a while ago too. I know, yeah. And I was just as upset about it at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. If this card attacks, you can you can equip one phase of monster on the field to this card. Yep. Does it mean on any side of the field? I can't remember. I think so. Yeah. Let's test it out. Yeah. I think um chain order is gonna support me though, because I have to mirror force dragon here. Of course. That only destroys your cards. That's awesome. Sweet. Okay. Oh, I think I lose. I think you do. Woo -wee. All oh, because, right. Oh, because I kind of played Ign Ignite's kind of badly. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and I, I got lucky enough to get one of my boys out and stalled until that that moment. Okay, so do we summon this guy for the attack points? Maybe. Sure. Speedroid Terror Top. Oh, with this effect not activating. What a wonderful card. All right, it's fine. We're just gonna go for a little battle. Really should have considered holding on to him for the left arm offering. Go for that. But yeah, with the Mirror Force Dragon chilling out here. Yeah, target immunity is beautiful. Not immunity, but <laughs> destruction if that happens. He must be fun to take down. You gotta get weird with Mirror Force Dragon. Yeah, it's only for attacks though. If, I, if uh. Plenty of decks have like card effect destruction, so yeah. Well, if I'm targeted by an opponent's card effect, is fine. But if it's a wide card effect, like any of the mirror forces, hence the name, then it, then it will defeat it. Or any field clearing effects that are pretty common in Yu-Gi-Oh. Got anything or nah? Do we go next? Yeah, I think we. <laughs> when we play Terminal World, where you don't have a like, main, no one has a main face too. Oh, rude. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I activate left arm offering. And uh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't the right play. Legend of Heart, which I already had. Battle. Did the math beforehand before doing that unnecessary play. And boom, mirror force strike. A little upset winning with the dragon, but at the same time, I thought to consider myself an underdog in this duel, so I'll take it. Mm -hmm. We've seen uh, in plenty of these tournaments the underdog decks. Doing That's true. Surprisingly well. Absolutely. I know for a fact uh, before you really thought of anything at Black Luster, you thought it was going to lose against Cyber Dragon at the time. I did. But now I see it in this competition as one of the most feared. Ooh, Foolish Burial Goods right now. Cool. Ooh. Okay, but we're going to hold on to it. Oh gosh, this is gonna be an interesting duel. Alright, let me see. So I have 
like three of the five pieces I need to bring out a legendary knight already. That being said, I have no other cards to play. Uh, Effectively, three of the other five. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play my Foolish Barrel Kids real quick. Mm -hmm. Send away my Phoenix Blade, which I think is the only card in it. Yeah, it's the only card that has a graveyard effect, so. Sure. Then. It's see. literally my thought process with the clown last time. I was like, I know that does stuff in graveyard. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Pendulum set. Yep. Pendulum. Not lucky enough to get the other card to clear out pendulums. That was a good just counterplay. Like, yeah. Have that thrown in my hand as one of the only options. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have searched for that, obviously. Mm hmm. So this allows. Uh, I remember at one point mm -hmm. during the uh, when we thought we were adding pendulums to the main series, pen pendulums has not been added. Um, we I, honestly, I was thinking about adding ignites just for the weird rose rose warrior avenge searching. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun card. Fire fire warrior. Yep yep. Uh, what you playing? Ignite Templar comes out. Did I lose both of them? Yeah, it's in the effect of targets and they destroy them oh, both or both. something. Oh, both. Yeah. Add one fire warrior. So I think there's probably a combo to make that a uh, double benefit rather than just the single search. Yeah. Alright. Let's just do <laughs> basic, basic attacks. I think what I did before going into this whole day and then bringing them both back and just doing that for link plays. I think the whole point is... The, uh... Oh, there goes your mirror force. And Lisa, no. Mm -hmm. And your finger, Critias. Oh, God, that would have been a deadly combo to deal with again. Oh, literally, yeah. Exactly the same thing. All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, uh, who do we want to go for here? I want to send more to Graveyard. I want to get searching more. I want to get more cards moving. Uh, let's just get Raiden so I can have a card on the field. Sounds like a good option. Uh, I'm also just going to do this because there's really only one card to send in the position I'm in right here. So I have Tamias. Boom. And then we'll activate this. And, oh, that's fun. Okay. So we'll consider that as an option. Um, in fact, we probably should. Okay, so I have the Claw of Hermos at the ready and I have a Warrior. So, which what's in my deck here? What does that bring out? Is that just Goddess Bow? Yeah, so we don't have something to equip it to, so we don't want to do none of that yet. We'll just go to battle. 1900 on the field, it's nothing to scoff at. Not in this door. And end my turn. Oh no, two Legend of Hearts gone. I wonder if I can get those back to my hand. Because that's the one piece I'm missing from the combo, the Legend of Heart. Are you kidding me? Like, all three of the, uh, cards are in play. I just need the Legend of Heart. So this deck runs on a certain draw power. Can you guess what it is, Ilo? Um, let's see. Um, what is it? The bamboo sword stuff. Ugh! And, uh... You just guess said the extra deck wasn't important. Get some extravagance in there, boy. Yeah, um... Guess what I just draw, drew twice of. Um, sword you don't need. The golden bamboo sword. All right, let's see if With we can make no this monsters. Yikes. Oh, well, you can equip it to mine. I suppose that can work, but at the same time, I'd rather also draw a monster as well. I guess if I draw oh, a yeah, bo dude. broken one right now, I guess that could work. And banish you. Yeah. But knowing my, but knowing my luck, I'm not gonna draw. I'm not gonna draw a, a bamboo sword right I'm now. I'm so surprised how well my deck is playing for me right now. It, no, it's because you were bad mouthing it. And I mean, well, it's fate's just like, I'll well, show you. Like it's the probably, exact combo the deck's built for, it just handed to but me. we did. Like, oh. I also did give. I also did give back that this is the one of the few night decks that I have no experience with. So, that too, yeah. And that's why this might have been a reasonable matchup. Um, let's see. That targets a spell or trap on the field and banishes the target. Wonderful. This card is targeted for an attack. You can target a trap and set it. Oh, that's beautiful. What about this one? Target an effect monster in your graveyard. This card's effect becomes that thing. Um, that sounds fun too. Or Tamias, and that's a face-up spell on the field. 
And I can uh, banish that target. And when I'm targeted, I get a spell from my graveyard. Uh, so I had to banish all those, so that's probably not the right play. I guess just going for, you know, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do Harmos. I want to see if I can copy some effects. Oh wait, I do all three? Oh man, I really don't know what I'm doing, but hey! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> um, yeah, sure, when this, uh, summon, target that. Banish. And, uh, let's see, da -da 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 -da. I guess I don't need to do any of the other effects. So just do the same thing. Wonderful! And, uh, what can I summon from here? <gasps> sure, why not? I don't know what I'm doing, but let's go for it. Bang, bang, bang! Boss monster! Probably not the right play here. But it's unaffected by other cards' effects. Neat. It can only be destroyed by battle, basically. Once per battle, if he does battle during it, you make this, um, equal to the monster that's the highest. All right. Well, yeah, I like definitely I said, once lengthened you, like, out this duel, but yeah, it's a fun like, one. Like I said, this guy, uh, if the real trouble would be if you get this guy out. Mm -hmm. And if I can get anything else on the field, it would be great. So, the thing is, so I do know I dealt with this guy recently. Not in this game, but mm -hmm. I dealt with him on the VR thing. Okay. Do you remember that thing? Sure. And it, it is an annoying card to deal with. It seems like it. <laughs> Discard battles. Like, I can think of ways, but it's all cheese. You need cheese cards to deal with me, because I'm unaffected. Exactly. And the worst thing is, I crash right now, right? Let's say I crash right now, because that's obviously what's going to happen if I mm -hmm. attack into you. You bring out Tamias, Hermos, and Critias to finish me off next turn. Yeah, sounds great to me. Put a moon mirror shield on this guy, call it a day. <laughs> the thing is, too, Zylo, it's either I do it on myself right now. Or I do it next turn? Yeah. Because. Uh, I understand the position you're in. It's a rough one, buddy. Wait, wait, does this work? I'm can unaffected. I, I don't I think it will. Darn it. Um, Let's see. Activate, sure. Yeah, the few cards have unaffected by cards effects in them, and it it overrules just about everything except tributing. So yeah, which so like a lot Kaiju's of people, without it, um, which anything a lot in of that people, category without it, which a lot of people I know at the beginning when Kaiju's first came out argued whether or not that should be you know whether they I should can imagine so, tributed. but then a lot of judges and Konami even said they can be tributed by Kaiju's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just drew really bad. Two bamboo swords in my hand right now, Zylo. Ooh, we got reasoning in here, too? This deck is actually really well built for its purpose. Obviously, like, in and of itself, it's not the craziest combo or anything, but its purpose is well met. Um, so here we go to battle. So I guess the play is you go in with it, you hit with all three of them, then you bring the fusion out at the end of your turn. Yeah... But. If I had a second, if I had anything right now, like a month, if any of the bamboo swords right now, I could have actually played right now, but I didn't because <sighs> bamboo is not a reliable thing, but this deck no. apparently relies like, on it. Like, it works for some things, like, but not everything. Well, you don't have to play that deck again because legendary knights are moving through. I don't think they're going to win any of the other decks. I don't think so, but look at how well they played today. We <laughs> They, yeah, they basically the two weakest decks of the of the tournament just faced off. Yeah. Or at least I don't. I can't say this is the weakest deck. Yeah, Maybe we just don't know deck. enough. I don't know. I basically I did not build this deck. I built it off mm -hmm. of uh, off of other decks I I found. And like I said, from what I saw, majority of the time this deck is run with TG, and I didn't want to make you guys sit here for twenty minutes, <laughs> plus having to actually use. The I card think effects. it's a great upset story, you know. So we'll see. One of us will be running uh, Legendary Knights in the upcoming one, but that is that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the underdog story that is this video. Uh, make sure you comment down below. So, you know, let's, let's see which one's going to be next so you guys can comment who you think is going to be. Let's see. We did that one. We did that one. <gasps> do we do Mech Knight Black Luster next or save that till day eight? Let's save that for day eight. Yeah. 
All right, so are we doing Dragonity versus Ignoble Knights? All right. Let us know which one of those you think is going to win. Mario's going to be running the uh, Ignoble Knights, so the Noble Knights will be in his hand. So that'll be interesting. And leave a like on the video, subscribe so you don't miss anything else, and we'll see you next time. See you, folks. Thank you.